Have you been following the FSR3 frame gen scene? No? Fine, I'll give you the TLDR. We can get double, or more, the FPS on our handhelds like the Legion Go and the ROG Ally with this amazing mod by Luke FZ. First off though, there are a few catches. Okay, the doubling thing may or may not work. Liar. Also, it might not work for all games. In theory though, this will work in the future for all FSR supported games and possibly all DX11 and DX12 games. The second thing is that these generated frames from frame interpolation do create artifacts or weird looking glitches, particularly in the HUDs and on-screen text. So no, it's not perfect, but this is a preview of what we could see in the future. Thirdly, I don't recommend this for anything competitive as the modding process might get you banned. And how would you get banned? Ask my buddy CPPC Tech about that. Fourthly, there is a spreadsheet linked in the description for tracking the compatibility of this mod which is compiled by LukeFZ and members of his community. Lastly, this mod is behind a Patreon paywall, so as of right now, you'll have to pay about $6 to get the mod off of LukeFZ's Patreon and Discord server. But maybe in the future, we'll see even more implementations at a lower price. Since this isn't a typical type of video for me, I'm not going to go over the steps to installing it in a guide or anything, but leave me a comment below if you'd like to know how exactly. Instead, I'm just gonna show you what kind of potential we have to look forward to in our handhelds. Today, I'm gonna show you Cyberpunk 2077 and Hogwarts Legacy, though I did test Spider-Man Remastered as well. All right, before I give my AI generated voice a break, I'd like you to pay special attention to some of the artifacting in the minimap and the on-screen text. And for the muggle obsessed, here's some Hogwarts Legacy. Sorry, I couldn't match up the footage. Uh, it must be a skill issue or something. So what'd you think? Are you ready to join the handheld revolution if you're not in it already? I'm thinking as soon as someone can figure out how to detach the HUD and additional text elements from the frames being generated, or if the devs get wind of this and implement it in their games, we're in for some buttery smooth action. And speaking of buttery smooth action, why not check out the Handhelds United Discord server, where you can talk to the likes of OKS Gamer, Windeck Tech, Gaming for Insight, and some bot named Gamers Generation, among others. As well as, why not check out the new YouTube channel, where we feature our new podcast, starting in 2024. And since you're doing me a solid by checking all those out, make sure to slap those buttons on screen, and watch this video next. GG.